Hi everyone, in today's video I'm going to show you how to make text in any texture color if you have an image using paint.net with pixeldatabase.net. Now pixeldatabase.net is free, it's online here and here's the URL. Now paint.net you can get at getpaint.net and I will go ahead and just show you real quick. I always just google it, it's the easiest way, but getpaint.net, I don't even need the forum right there. Okay, and this Here's paint.net, here's the download. I'm not gonna download because I already have it, but it is free, or you can get it in the Windows Store. It's like the here's the Microsoft Store where you have to pay, or you can get it free here. So but it is free. Uh, I've been using it for about almost close to 15 years now, probably. So I'm gonna go ahead and first open up paint.net. I already have it installed. Now what I want to do is create a texture layer. So I'm gonna just add a new layer. I don't have to name it, but I'll just name it text since we're here recording. Now here what I want to do is use the paint bucket tool, which is right here. And I want to take this black and just click paste. Just right click, click, I mean left click anywhere in the little rectangle. Now I'm going to select my text layer. I'm going to click on my text tool. And I'm going to select a kind of big font. And I'm going to use Comic Sans MS. You can use any one you want, but kind of a wide font is usually a little better. And I want to be text align center and I'm gonna just say I ah, wrong text color let me get a yellow text color I love pancakes I've already shown the video similar to this for transparency maker which is the program that pixeldatabase.net kinda came from but I'm gonna select all the text here click on this little rectangle here it's my select and I kind of went too fast on the layer. The layers control is right here. I forgot to, I kind of went, I sometimes go too fast when I'm recording. I forget that I'm trying to teach someone else that may not be familiar with this software. Okay, now I have this saved. I'm going to go ahead and save this image as a PNG. I deleted my temp folder this morning. In the 60s, they used to say, I almost cut my hair today, but I got deleted my temp folder today, so it's kind of a big... Okay, so there, I've already got the save once, but I'll go ahead and just save that again. I love pancakes, so yellow text. Okay. Flatten. That just put, takes the two layers and collapses them down to one. All right, and now, here I am at pixeldatabase.net. I'm going to upload that image. I love pancakes. And here, what I want to do is just show you the color picker. Total here for anything black is going to be zero, and the yellow, of course, is going to be quite a bit higher. So what we're going to do is just say, click on the hide button, and the I'll just say total uh, greater than 10, and that'll just get rid of all the yellow. So now we have this transparent layer here, transparent area where the text was. And I'm going to download this image, and I'll just put this back in my temp folder. And I will call this I Love Pancakes Transparent. Now I want to go back over to inpaint.net. I'm going to close this one and open up my one I just did, the transparent. And now what we want to do is I want to open up. A, this is I bought this stock photo. I have no affiliation with deposit photos, but I buy a hundred uh, photos at a time for. It's usually a hundred dollars, but lately they've had sales as low as eighty dollars, so it's like a dollar a piece or less for images. So I like that. But let me go over to my folder here in my graphics textures folder. I have a pancakes texture that I bought for a dollar, so I want to have that. I'm gonna go ahead and first let me get the size of this. I want to get the exact size. What is this? One second. Let me go to resize. Okay, we're at eight hundred by six hundred, so I'm gonna make this the same. So I'll just say 800 by 600 and hit OK. Now I want to hit Control A to select all and then Control C to copy. And I'm going to go back over here to the I Love Pancakes and I'm going to add a new layer. And I'm going to just paste in my new layer. But I want to send that new layer down. So I'm going to say click that Move Layer Down button right here. And now I have the text I Love Pancakes in black. So I'll go ahead and save that. Just to show you okay so we'll go with we'll call this I love pancakes black text alright and now what I want to do is I will just close that and go over don't need to save anything go to paint.net again I mean pixeldatabase.net I'm gonna close this one let me close 
that on Chrome. All right, and I'm going to select this one. Oh, okay. This is what I just did. I'll, I'll explain this in one second. Let me go to, let me go back to my temp folder. I saved wrong. Why is that not my temp folder? C temp. Okay. I saved that as a paint.net, which is what I just did. Paint.net PDN, that is the default uh, extension. If you, if you have more than one layer, I need that to be a PNG again. So it's going to flatten it again. And I'm going to say yes, and it's going to say flatten. So, okay, so I made an error. Not the first time. It's 4.30 in the morning, so I'm allowed to make errors this early. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and hit close. And now I'm going to open up pixeldatabase.net again, and we're going to try that as the one in a... This time it's a PNG, so it works. And now what I want to do is just say hide pixels where total is less than 10. So I want to get rid of the black. So there, so now I have I Love Pancakes as a uh, texture, and I'm gonna just go ahead and download that. And say, we'll call this I Love Pancakes text. And I'll open it and just show you in paint.net. It's now transparent. Okay, and that, if you put a layer behind that, it'll probably show a little better, but that's just one of my, that's my quick video for how to make text in any texture using pixeldatabase.net with paint.net. All right, thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions or comments or video requests. Thanks.